As you're probably aware, space is at a premium on your solid state drive, which is where you want to install the Steam client because it will operate faster on there. But if you go to Steam and settings, we can add a new Steam folder stack. Your games can get installed on another drive as well. By default, the only option in your settings will actually be um, your local disk drive where you've installed it, which will currently be your SSD drive. So if you head into settings, and then go down to download, you'll see at the top it says content libraries, Steam library folders, manage content locations on multiple drives. So if you click on Steam library folders, it will show currently your primary drive there, and that's where all your Steam games are going to get installed. Now, by adding another library, it doesn't prevent you from installing some games there. So if there's a game where you think you're suffering particularly with performance, by not be on the SSD, by all means, you can put it on there. But the space is naturally limited on SSD due to the expense of it. So if you click on this plus button, it is easier in new versions of Steam to do this. Before, you had to create the folder yourself and add it and start out the folder structure. When you click the plus button, it says add a new Steam library folder, and it will automatically show any drives on your computer which don't currently have a Steam library folder on. As you can see, our local disk drive D is actually our HDD drive, and it's got nearly four times the space of the SSD drive. So it's well worth adding there. And all you have to do is click the Add button. And then HDD, you've got a Steam library that is on D. And what you can do is that you can then click on Settings next to it and click Make Default which will put a star next to it so you know your hard disk drive is your default for any new installs on Steam. That doesn't mean you can't select the C drive when you install a game, but what it does mean is it will default to this one, freeing up space on your SSD for your programs and still giving you a fantastic gaming experience. And that's it. You can keep on adding more Steam file uh, folders if you have more drives available. And if we click on to browse folder, what you will see is it has actually created a new folder on the hard disk drive in exactly the same folder structure as is located where your Steam client is. So Steam library, Steam app. So it's very easy to do. It all manages itself. You don't even have to create the folders in the latest version of Steam. So it's well worth doing. Hope that helps. Uh, don't forget to like the video and hit subscribe for more Steam videos.